Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, Skoya till day. Um, I know there's one happy community member right now, and Mr. Kapoor. Uh, if you know Kapoor, uh, you'll know why. <laughs> He's a huge frog fan. So uh, let's check these cards out. We'll go from uh, uh, the big boy or girl, I should say, into the uh, the other ones. So uh, let's check this out. I haven't really looked at him too much i wanted to kind of get a live reaction um but first one up is aquin she's uh putting off some like uh little mermaid slash i don't know <laughs> she's <laughs> she's definitely uh, a free spirit <laughs> um so five strength 13 provisions, super expensive. Dryad Nayad, I believe it is. Uh, so a new uh, tag added to uh, um, the the Thrive for Skoyatol. It's escaping me because it's so bad. Um, <laughs> but uh, so it's uh, Symbiosis. So you get the... Uh, the symbiosis tag with it. I uh, brought up some of the symbiosis cards here. Um, deploy, infuse all your naiads with nature category whenever, wherever they are. So even in the deck, whenever you spawn a wandering train, give it vitality equal to the number of dryads you control. So <coughs> it kind of has carryover because you could play it and infuse the ones in your deck and then uh if it's on the board and you spawn these wandering trends give it vitality equal to the number of drives you control so if you have two it's going to get vitality two and so on um so it needs 13 just to get its max provisions um i guess if it's infusing all of them with nature um, so if it's nature, does it, um, you play a unit and it gets symbiosis is how I'm reading that. Cause symbiosis goes by nature cards. So that's actually pretty crazy that you could put, uh, wow. That seems like it's really good. Um, yeah, because uh, the way I'm reading it, it's it's saying that whenever you play a nature card, symbiosis, you get, you know, the effect of symbiosis. So, I guess some of them, though, you have to... No. Yeah, that's that's pretty nuts. I mean, it's 13 provisions. Do you swap this with Ethne in the deck? I hope not. I love that card. It's my favorite art in the whole game. Um, I mean, it gets it gets its value automatically when it's played, and then if it lives, I don't think it ever lives. It's only five strength, but um, wow, that seems really crazy. I think I really like this card. I don't think it 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 won't get much past the original thing unless you're going up against a solitary deck but really cool i like that one a lot um let's check out the next one which is extremely hilarious uh <laughs> frog mating season it's a epic nature card uh choose two allied units give them vitality four so it's giving you eight and then spawn a frog on each side of chosen units. So the frogs um, the frogs are right here. They're uh, one strength. They're doomed. Beast token. Uh, at the end of your turn, trigger vitality of adjacent units. Order. Move self to the other row. So they're kind of like um, the, the witch... The witch guys that jump around. 
but then as long as there's a vitality next to it it triggers twice then so instead of it going once a turn it can go twice a turn so they're like additional so you're getting eight nine you get two two frogs or one was it two or one frog on each side of chosen units so you can you get you can get up to three right if you pick two side by side you get one on each side and then it's gonna proc one two three four well they're going they're going back and forth so actually it's only gonna be once so you're gonna have to like position them a certain way so that when they jump back and forth Oh, I see. You so they keep you from doing getting the third one sort of you play one you pick a one on each row so when they as long as they're on the outside they'll constantly proc it. Okay. Okay. It uh It seems pretty good. One ping and it's dead, but I mean you're going to be using one ping just to take out these little frogs i think you're gonna have to um it's all gonna depend on the skelliga card skelliga always seems to eat up uh scoyatel i don't know i think it's a pretty cool card i like anything that got like a, a bit of movement to it i'm always gonna be a fan of um and we got uh two more here uh naiad pond keeper so it's a Dryad Naiad, 5 for 5. How many provisions was that? It was 9, wasn't it? Yes, 9, okay. Alright. Naiad Pond Keeper. Deploy me. Oh, so I love cards with melee arranged, so I'm already zooming in on this one. Melee, choose an allied wandering trait and damage an enemy unit by its power. Then reset the Wandering Trent. Okay, so it's it's possible removal if you can get the Trents buffed up. Because Symbiosis spawns the Trents. And then they can get boosted. So you can... It's kind of like a... Um, Cyclops for... Scoyatel. Or Deploy Ranged. Infuse a non-Symbiosis allied unit with Symbiosis. So... Options are always huge, um, and having a possible removal tool on something that's not that important, like a Trent, that you want to kind of make board space for because those things flood the board pretty quick, especially if you're going up against Nilfgaard and they're playing Spies. Um, I really like this card. Any card that gives you options, I'm going to be a huge fan of. Because, I mean, it's two cards in one. You can either give something symbiosis or you could possibly remove something, which is huge. It just resets it, though, so it still stays on the board, which is kind of sad. I was hoping it would get rid of it. But even still, I mean, bumping something up and then killing something you might want to get rid of, possibly huge. And then the last one is a Naiad Fledgling. So this is the, the blue one here. Um, I love this art. This is great. Uh, four for five. Whenever your symbiosis is triggered, give the unit to the left to vitality. Order, remove all vitality from a unit, then boost self by the same amount. Okay, so... So you can... So it, it kind of gives you the option to let the vitality sit. Or if you feel like it's going to be removed by, say, like, poison... Ah, well, you're just taking the poison, okay? Or you're just taking the vitality. So... So it's kind of like, um... A drummer boy for, uh... Northern Realms for the, for the Dryads. Which seems pretty good. Um... There's gonna be ways to disrupt this. And it's only one turn. But you could, you could, you, it says from any allied unit. So if something has vitality like eight, you could snatch it off of there. And it's only allied, so 
Nilfgaard can't steal it and then steal the vitality. Thank goodness. Ah, uh, I mean it's average. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this one's gonna make it into the deck. I think there's gonna be better symbiosis cards. Um, you know, you still have Hammer Dryads. Fretnex is gonna be huge. The Saskia card might actually make a comeback within this deck. Abandoned Girl will make it as well, I think, because of the vitality and the number of Dryads. So she should play for a, a pretty good amount. Um, I think I think Scoyatel got some uh, some good weapons. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, once again, thank you so much for all the love and support. You guys are wonderful. I know I haven't been uh, around much, uh, but I'm um, trying to rectify that. So thank you for everything. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think tomorrow is Monsters, I believe. I'm not sure, but we got you covered. I'll see you guys next time.